Like, no hope of survival? None. Not even with a shotgun? Come on. I can't guarantee I'm not going to get chewed on in this next little run. Because it just keeps going on. There's a small community. Sorry, I clicked to start. There's a small community with a surplus store in it. <laughs> We're gonna go and take everything. Cake! Wait, what? Oh, first we're watching Cake. Cake Boss! We will be the Cake Boss. Flour, butter, sugar, egg, yeast, milk. This is great. I mean, we would be getting massive cooking if I had read a cooking book. But, well, that's great. Man needs to focus. We got a meat cleaver in here? Kitchen knife. Come on now. Let's see a meat cleaver. Oh, that's right. Watermelon. Let's eat some watermelon. Eat all that. Might as well grab it all. Take this stuff over to the bookshelf. Throw it on in there. Metalwork. It's a good read. We'll take it with us. Throw some watches in there. Why not? We're not quite there yet. Trapping volume two. Fishing volume two. Yes. Yes. Military boots. They'll be going into... Oh, we've got a bass. Guitar. Padded pants. I like this. Alcohol wipes, painkillers, etc. Let's uh, toss this in the backpack, though, just to just to wipe out the weight a little bit, you know. Of course, we'll be filling up the backpack with all sorts of guns. <clears throat> Let's try to open the door and and pay attention and try walking out here. All right. All right, fully loaded. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. Fully loaded pistol. Ready to rock. Here he goes. It's a broken bat out here. Kitchen knife. Yeah, really... Yeah, no, um, no meat cleaver. That pretty much does it. All right. Okay, we're full. Wow. Okay. Oh, somebody's screaming. Well, 
I'll never find her. All right, where's a good gun shelf? Yeah, tea bag. Okay, we can fix that. In theory. There they are. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a hot minute, so you might want to fast forward past this. Um, there's two fish. Sitting in a tank, one turns to the other and says, do you know how to drive this thing? That's your reward for sticking around, I guess. Sorry. There we go. 38 special will come in handy later. Oh, well, M36 or whatever. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice little gun. We're going to use our trusty 9 mil and some shotgun. Okay. Kind of want to lighten the load if we can because <clears throat> where we're going. We're definitely going to, uh, definitely going to need this, the weight. Definitely going to need the weight allowance. So we'll head in with our stuff. We're going to shoot a lot of zombies. It's 9 a.m. Yeah, look, at there's all this stuff here. Shotgun shells, 308 rounds. More weapons. It's over here. Food. We got booze kicking around. Um, yeah, flour, sugar, flour, sugar, and bullets. That's what every shelf needs. No, not you. All right. So all the, no, all these can go in here. Not enough space. Still. We are orange plate and shotguns. That's for your skeet shooting. The orange is easy to see. Right? Okay, so. So now he's set up. Or he's got his van mostly emptied. So let's set up our backpack for the the shooting spree here. So we're going to dump all the nine in there. Dump those in there. Grab half. Now I don't know if, if, if he can sleep yet. It'd be almost a good thing for him to take a nap. Got to get rid of that guy, too. I guess I... I guess these, that sink is empty. Yeah. Let's drink. Fill our empty bottle. 
Do we have a water bottle in the backpack? Yes, we do. Always like to see that. Cupboard gets a nine millimeter with one bullet in it. I like that. It shows I'm ready. So I've only got a hitting stick. Did I put my duct tape over here? I did. Let's grab it. I'm, I know I've I grabbed the glue. Boom. Back in business. Do some glue on it. Oh, yeah. Duct tape. Oh, the thing looks beautiful. One more time. Glue. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, glue again. Oh, it's it's like new. Ah, that's much better. Now we can stab zombies as well. Okay. Can I sleep yet? Yes, I can. Can we pretend... Then it's time to watch TV. I don't think so. Not gonna buy it this time, guys. Where's my inventory? There it is. Watermelon. It is what it is. We'll just do a heist otherwise. We'll be missing... We'll be missing... Uh, we'll be missing a television show. But it's important that we kind of speed this along. Uh. Ah, s some reason. For some reason, that guy had an alarm set. 12.50. Alright. Let's grab a something to eat. Eat that. Throw this in the backpack. It, I'm not too worried about the loot and like the way we move and stuff like that. I'll find plenty of food. There's three or four food items per building. It's not that worrisome. But it, it's set on apocalypse is what the settings are. But then I changed it to... Um, so the zombies don't respawn, but then I up the zombie count. So that's it's it's apocalypse, but the zombies don't respawn. Hard on the tires. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll clean up your own yard first, right? You group up like that, please. And nope. Oh boy. That's embarrassing. Where are you guys going? Hey. Come on. Who else is coming? There will be a bunch showing up. We'll be coming from the south mostly. But we had to do this sooner or later. Draw everybody in from around my base. And get them to die. Well, they're already dead. They just need to stop moving. Ooh, don't get, don't get the, the tyrant, please. Hmm? Oh. 
Ooh, I appreciate a person who enjoys a good backpack. What did you have on there? Cool. Like, there won't be a whole bunch. Mostly because there's not, I'm not surrounded by zombies. I have, you know, some zombies here. And also, I don't want to use all my uh, shotgun shells before I get, uh, you know, to the to the place we're going to use all my shotgun shells. I turned the volume down on the game a bit in the recording. I noticed it seemed a little bit loud, especially when I started using guns. Um, I'm going to have to open a box of this, aren't I? It's okay. I have more in the truck. All right. One, open that. And stop moving. There we are. Reload. We, we, you know, we picked up a few. There's quite a few of them, you know. But it's not like the crowds that are going to be coming later. Like, that doesn't sound like a suspiciously awful time to you guys. It's like here's the person we want to walk up on. It's like I don't I don't think you do. I'm I'm not really giving like any sort of indication that I'm friendly. That's a crazy That's a crazy thing about zombies though, eh? Not really ones for social cues. Yeah, we're getting some stragglers in. This is nice. But... Did the accuracy go there, right? Eh? All right. When you get the hug. You know, it kind of looks like I'm just killing people and stealing their watches, but it it, 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 it boils down to more than that. I'm sure of it, right? Like, oh man, boy, are you ever late? So we gotta go, and uh, basically, what we're doing is, I just gotta get going here. We're gonna go, and we're gonna clear out the place we're gonna sleep. And then we do the heist. Probably after we've slept. I need to uh, also gather the know-how to install a generator before my meat goes bad, right? And then I need... Uh... Oh, you guys. I'd stop and kill you, but... other things to do. Oh. Always tough. Always tough. 
Okay, I don't believe I can open a box of that. Right, but I can. So I'm loading a shotgun as I drive. I don't know if they call that distracted driving or something. Yeah, we've got a couple of empty gas cans in the back. So worst case scenario, we've got to siphon some gas. We've got the ammunition to pretty much take over anything right now. I could even do that little backwoods uh, thing I tried and failed on. Martha didn't make it. Martha made it, but uh, she got killed getting out of a car. It was uh, pretty anticlimactic, actually. There was one person, one zombie, banging on a car, and I meant to drive forward, and instead, I got out of the car. I hit the wrong button and killed Martha. And I was like, for that, that kind of... You know, like, when the horde pulls you down or whatever, you, you know, you get surprised in a doorway. Okay, that's how you die, but... Because a character who would in real life never get out of their car, like, you just, you wouldn't. Anyway, she did, because I told her to. By accident. And that's how Martha died. One zombie. 3,500 zombies shot to death. Well, not all of them. What do you have? Is that a shotgun? Excuse me, officer. There we go. He might be available when we come back. Mostly I go for the shells that are in the shotgun. Usually use a, a shotgun like that will probably be beat up. So it's probably it's better to use it like to repair your other shotguns. Like usually you don't find a pristine hunting knife sticking out of a zombie. You'll find a hunting knife just been used, right? Whoa, guys! This is where I honked my horn earlier. You are welcome. They lined up for that show. Yeah, the more I drive up and down this road, the more this is going to happen. Where they just Pile in. Because it's the little groups down on the sides that hear me go by and. And they wander into the middle of the road. I mean, really, what else do they have to do, right? Yeah, it looks like something bad happened off over there. Horrible massacre of zombies. So this is like the second phase. Well, third phase. I guess phase one was get proper vehicle for robbing places. Step two, start robbing places. So th the reason I'm robbing gun stores and surplus stores is because I want a bunch of ammo so I can shoot a bunch of zombies. Sounds pretty basic. And, and it is, but um, you'd be amazed at how much ammo you go through shooting zombies. They just... Oh, and I'm hoping I don't slam into something with this vehicle because it doesn't... It does... It's it's not in good shape. But yeah, they come out of, of everywhere. And you're shooting zombies all over the place. I've had some really successful gun battles in cities and stuff like that that are just, there's, it's so incredibly intense and so much fun. Well, I think I'm coming up to my turn off here. It's kind of nice having someone to talk to and uh, 
talking to someone while you're driving. Oh no. It time didn't go quite that quickly. Now for the veterans, you guys would know exactly where I'm going. Probably a, a surplus store you guys have visited yourselves several times. Because much like that uh, gun store that's just that we just passed, that of where I got all my ammo. Um, much like that gun store, it is in a secluded spot. And you can start firing guns around that area and you'll only collect so many zombies. Yeah, we won't be doing that. The man's going to be hungry. No. Oh, it's 42 degrees Celsius in this car. That's like uh, uh, borderline lethal. Or actually probably lethal left for much longer. No wonder he's wet. Yeah. Yeah, incredibly sweaty. See that little knot of zombies there? That is fun. That they're all knotted up like that down here still. I haven't disturbed the nest. You know? So. So that's good. Come on, little fella. You can do it. I'm horribly bad at evading oncoming traffic. It seems to, you know, pop up at me and I slam into it. Here's our turn. It's this. Yeah, see that? What kind of shape is this car in? Not using a shotgun. It's on the road, so it probably won't be very good. Well, we don't have a jack. So, I am kind of curious. Well, it's actually really, really incredible shape for a car that's on the road. There are so there is some gasoline in it. I'm gonna throw this on myself. Boop. Toss this in the trunk. Uh, I don't believe I have a lug wrench either, but sort of. A, I'm not actually trying to get right now all of it together. I have a lug wrench at home, so. I think it's sad that we've got a side door. I think you should be able to carry a fair bit more than 60 in this thing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You guys, it's got to be a sledgehammer. You shouldn't have. All right, wheel down here. Which one's this? A nice two-story house. Yes, it is. And what do we have over here? Story. Well, it's about to get pretty, pretty rough uh, in this neighborhood.
Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do quiet shooting. Sounds counterintuitive, I know, but. Using guns in PZ can be actually pretty fun and pretty effective. See, it's going to draw on any, anybody who would be a threat while I'm sleeping. And as long as I basically just kind of shoot while I'm standing in this area, we're not going to really get a lot of newcomers. That's pretty much the extent of who's coming. If I would have used the shotgun, it would have been quite a different story. Yeah, that's the spirit. Hey, man. Is this thing open? It sure was. Okay, I don't know what's up with him, but I'm going to get away from him. I don't like that at all. Oh, okay. Gun is jammed. Let's check that again to make sure it's not jammed. Okay. Some more bullets in there. Nope, nope. We're out of bullets to put in there. Oh. That wasn't a good move. There we are. Okay, let's head back to this area exactly, pretty much, to shoot. Now, I would have killed them all if it would have been a shotgun battle, but they're just... be so many more coming. Oh, let's steal some watches, why not? I know, it's not about the watches. It's about the dangly ruby earrings. Okay. I swear there was two two um, digital watches. Okay, so I don't know if anybody else is home. I think with the ruckus I made. All right, let's check the bookshelf. Uh, still none of that uh, army volume one that I want. Here, formal shirt, suit jacket. Well, he wants to get fancy. That's a mirror, not a door. Gun case. No gun case. It's one of the things I kind of look for. Pen. I'm also not really there. Up. Oh, my watermelon's starting to go bad. It's all right. Let's, uh, is this thing loaded? Yes. All right. What other food articles do it, did I bring? Doesn't look like much. All right, well, let's, uh, switch weapons. Something a little quieter than a cannon. And, uh, we'll head downstairs here. Should be fairly safe. I mean, I made a lot of noises. Let's see here on the floor. I not seeing anything. Okay. Um, that's really loud. Okay, well, we're watching Exposure Survival with Dean. You don't, you don't miss out with Dean. 
So that's, uh, where do you find all this stuff, Dean? I don't know. Foraging and. Look at this. There we go, guys. A very wonderfully timed television show. Very forgiving programmers. What do we got in the fridge? Strawberries, corn, and pickles. Get rid of that. The plan forms. Pickles, check on that uh, chicken still cooking away. Well, let's just eat it all. Oatmeal is good for you. The coffee's going to be a savior. Crackers are nice and light and can go in the backpack as well. Come on, grab it up. Turn that off. Do we... Now I guess we... Chicken. Chicken salad, guys. Chicken and beef salad. Some serious amounts of protein there. Add corn. There we go. Got breakfast. Just eat a, a ridiculous amount of chicken. There you go. Breakfast is going to be beautiful. What's my... Uh, why do I have all this crap on me still? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I'll put that on the floor. Okay. Let's head upstairs and go to bed. We've got a big day ahead of us. Lots of violence. Actually, let's go to bed having a cigarette. That way. No, no, seriously. Smoke. What are you doing? Okay, he won't take it out of his back. I don't know what was going on there. He's done this sort of thing before. Or at least certain players of mine, characters have done weird stuff. Cigarettes. That's a fair amount of crap in the backpack. All right, 
should be completely satisfied to sleep for a very long time. I'm hoping he sleeps through like a day's worth of rain. He doesn't. All right, let's, that's enough. Let's head down, see if we can. Yep. Not doing. We're not doing like the stairmaster run here. Just turn on. Tune in. All right. I wonder if we have a mug here. I can actually just make coffee as opposed to eating it. It's never a good deal. Okay, I think this is just... It's just commercials. Yeah. I think our television days are done, guys. Oh, nope. There we go. Look at that. Just like real life made us sit through commercials. Do I have time for the height? Uh, yeah. It should only take 20 minutes. But bam. Bam. That's what I like to say in the various shows. So, because I watch all the cooking shows on the television, it doesn't change the videos. The videos are pretty good. Ooh, almost aiming on aiming six. I, I will, we will be making aiming six, I guarantee it. By the bloody knife of... The bloody knife of Tyron Huey. His favorite weapon was a baseball bat. It won't be. Alright, well, we'll see him tomorrow. I am a cow. I hear ya. Alright, let's uh, start the day. Break on out into this van. Come on, hop in. Uh-oh, we don't, we, we're out of water. Yeah, we'll solve that. Okay. So, mailbox, mailbox, nothing. officer as far as I can tell you're not supposed to hit them with your car very upset okay, mailbox nothing nothing give a guy a break let them learn about generators. If we can find a generator, it's that that little book, though. Bah, you guys! Why would you all park here? It's a whole group of them. They could push it out of the way. Hey, just give me a second, buddy. Nothing. Not my favorite angle. Now, 
No, I mean, I think the book could be in, in those houses that we drove past. No problem. It's just sitting there in a bookshelf. I thought, thoughts like that kind of just drive me nuts about this game. Exactly what you, you were looking for. You could have just went past it. All right. Here we go, guys. We're entering a small, small community here. There's a small community off the side. Ooh. You gotta love a whiskey truck. It's banged up, though. I just hope I... Nope. Please don't do that. You just hope you find one that's in better shape. Because we're going up to a parking lot here. And a lot of the vehicles that are in parking lots are in pretty awesome shape. This isn't exactly where I want to be, but it's more or less where we want to be. Yeah, look at all these cars. We'll get we'll get one if we need one. Okay, and, uh... Ah, I've always got to do it on a crappy day with rain and poor visibility. Oopsie. We drove past the surplus place. It's okay. It's alright. There it is. There we are. Another parking lot. This is a food area. With a butcher shop. Pickup truck would be nice if I could get that. Um, uh, butcher shop. And, well, a food market, right? So. Maybe we've gotten here in time so that the donuts aren't bought. That would be nice. But here's the here's the, the surplus store. I would like to um, empty of, of the area of zombies. Yep. Come with me. We're all going to go over here now. Yep. The guy says, come over here. And then he pulls out a shotgun. I would advise you not go near him. There we go. Oh, good. It's also foggy. This isn't dangerous at all. All right. We're going to get them all. Yeah. Come, get, come see me. Yep. Here we go. See, now you guys all know where I am. Convenience. Now I have to do a lot of walking around these guys. Oh, we're thirsty. So we'll flip on up to the old water bottle here. We'll Put it into our regular inventory. And we'll have a drink. Boom, we set. Oh yeah, we don't need to reload. We've reloaded. Oh, look at this. We just got ourselves a bit of a crowd. Let's shoot some of them. Now I'm going down, sort of. I should call everything that's either that's in this building now. And everything that's up here. Most of this should have kind of started to trickle in already, though. So we've got... Oh, the thunder effects are so awesome. Let's eat that, shall we? You know, here he is just blasting zombies with a shotgun. And he's like, man, I could, I could eat. The cool thing too is the zombies are going to swiss cheese these buildings for me. Open them right up. So that, that's how you open doors in Zomboid with a shotgun. It's not the same as in uh, Seven Days to Die. Did that work? No. There, yeah, that worked. Alright. Sorry, everyone.
I just, I hadn't made noise in a while and they were starting to lose interest and get a little confused. Ooh, an officer. Yeah, he's gonna get back up. Okay, come on. No, no, no. I just got this coat. Don't need you guys touching it. What if it gets ripped? Then I'm gonna blame you. We don't need that kind of strain on a relationship, right? Yeah. That's right. Just, we just want to feel the love. Yeah, so we've kind of, kind of established the circle. It'll be kind of like back up towards the gun store now. And again, you know, I would like to do a good job, but at the same time, I've got to have enough because I would like to have the key to the gun store so that I can get into the back room. And sleep is behind a really solid door, you know? Is there, there's not as many of them as I thought there was going to be. And I'm wondering if it's because the helicopter event hasn't hit yet. So... It hasn't stirred them all up, so they're not quite as, like... There's a, I thought, like, there's a couple of zombies here. Like, it's not... The population is zero, but... Uh, This kind of deal with a shotgun. Maybe, maybe the thunder's messing with them too. Like I, I don't know. I, I am kind of wondering where all the police are coming from, though. Because the police are usually attached to police cars, which usually have a lot of weapons in them. You know, I'm sorry I shoot them and you watch five of them fall over, but actually three of them turn around and get back up. That guy's got a shotgun. He knows. He's like, this is a shotgun party. Why didn't anybody else bring a shotgun? I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't have time for two shots there before I get squeezed out again, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. Wow, that police officer took like a front and center spot. We gotta get him. I think he got back. No, he didn't. He didn't. That's good. Okay, it looks like uh, we're thinning out though. There's that one police officer that I shot already. I'm just wondering why there's so many of them. Like, if you're near a police station, I get it, but uh, a lot in this crowd. Alright, loopy loop, back up again. Yep, run over this way and get a couple. There we go. Usually you get about enough time to shoot like three or four rounds. But you don't really want to push it past three, actually. Uh, just because somebody might be coming in beside you. Yeah, like, 
like that, see? And you want to kind of loop them back. All right, let's see. I think we're almost done, honestly. Like with the shotgun. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. But there will be zombies coming, but if I switch to the the nine mil, it'll be a lot smaller of a radius. Oh yeah. Didn't we want to save some zombies? How many do we want to save, though? They're on the wrong side of the door. Is this thing even locked? No. Alright, so... Let's open this. Come on, guys. No. Oh. The door's open. You guys. Come on in. I'll open the window. The reason I want a key is because I'd like to take one of these cots and go back in this area. Hey, man. Thanks for joining us. Did you bring the key? No, oh, none of you guys did. What about now? Excellent. Good times. So, army cap. We got some... Some stuff. We got lighter and matches. We have um, an M16 assault rifle. As you do. M16 magazines. Uh, that's for the M16. Oh, there's a holster. Lovely. So, we've got some things. Two times scope, four times scope. You know, this is this is what we're here for. We are here for specifically this. We want pants, jackets, brand new shirts. There will be. I'm pretty sure there should be the bloody hunting knife in here somewhere. Because after it breaks on you like that, you do want... And I don't really want... Yes, I want all the pants because they've got great bite protection. But, you know, you'll be going over a fence. And uh, tailoring is really difficult in this game. So fixing your clothes is not like the long dark where you're just like, and we're done. It takes a lot of work to fix a pair of pants. So... Um, Oh, yeah, that's going to be, st I'm, that goes into my backpack right now. That's a non, not even thinking about it. Okay, so another M14, bunch of rounds. Yeah, so the front of the store is very nice. You know, you've got all these, these great clothes, all this stuff. It's just endless. Hand axe. But the back of the store is where it gets a little bit nuts. It just... I've been here once before, and it was quite the maneuver. It didn't do it this early in the game, though. 
So it looks pretty... We're looking, we're looking good. So we're going to pull the van up and fill it with stuff. Part of that stuff, there will be an M16 in that. And it just... It just goes on and on. Like, there is... I might even fill up the van, and then if I can get another vehicle to work, fill that vehicle up too, and then tow it. That's how much junk I have here. And it's not even junk, it's all amazing stuff. But what's more amazing for long-term survival, I can't, this, again, this seems like a really easy victory. Yeah, there's, there will still be stragglers because they didn't use the shotgun enough. But down here, in this in this corner, what do we got here? Yeah, now he wants to smoke. I don't understand it. But down in this area, this is the food. And there's all sorts of food. So, and by using the shotgun here, we've We've drawn out everybody in the clothing store. Drawn out mostly everybody that's going to be here. Ah, a little rough looking. Let's see if, uh, no. Probably nobody left us the key. Let's smash the window. Hopefully, no, no key in there, and, uh, yes, it's not. Although sometimes, you go and you look in some place like this, and then you see the, the key is actually in, like, in here. And you're like, oh, well, and now I've got a nice new car with a smash, smash window. Boy, did I ever do great. Yeah, so this is this is very nice and all. These were these were different times. The, those clothing items that was for clothing items for a different time. Now there is an entire medical center here. There's a bunch of vehicles down to my south. Um, I think even if honestly, if I oh, there we go. Needs gas. How bad is it inside? It's, it's not horrible. Like, I mean, it is, but it's not that bad. Okay, so, um, pulling out my knife here. All right, it's for close combat. And we will run in through the doorway there. Cause, oh, man. Stale. Donuts are rotten. Pie was stale. Oh, if only we could have gotten here on day one. Well, there's a whole bunch of, um, Ooh, that's scary. Dried goods. But look at this. Fresh. All the fresh meat. It's still fresh, guys. Ah, damn it. I knew it. That's why I run through those doors. Power, olive oil, 
candy cane. Milk. Eggs. We're, we're set, guys. We can we can make, like... Oh, the rest, look, some of this stuff's kind of roughed up. Like, we can make a salad right now. It'd be pretty epic. But all the stuff that's kind of refrigerated and such, still good. Yeah, we can make up stuff. Well... Yeah, he wants a salad anyway. He's, it's making him sad. But yeah, so we've got all these goods we can stuff into the car. Get the... Go get the van eventually, and then... But right now, I'm going to leave it like that. Oh yeah, we got stuff in the freezer. Five of them. Well, oh man. Bacon, sausage, oysters, chicken, mutton chop, steak. Oh man. He is going to be eating like a king. However, we need to find the. To get all their loot together, we need to find the How to Use Generators book. Or else it will be all for nothing. So I'm going to go hide and... I mean, wait in the bathroom. We'll see you next time. That's right. Practice. We'll see you next time. There he is. Baseball bat is still the preferred weapon. Look at that aiming. Just flying along. It's not the aiming that's important. I want that mechanical and electrical, you know? But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Keep surviving, guys. Now we just got to get this stuff out of here. Oh, well. Here we go.